trying to hurry up and get up out of here so we can start our journey and head to Nairobi City for the first time. And well, not for the first time, but we staying out there for the first time. Mm -hmm. This is our first time actually staying out there. So we've been through before, but we have a nice little spot. We're gonna go stay for a few days and kind of explore Nairobi City. So yeah. So what's our setup? Carrying setup. Backpacks, today. Nothing but backpacks. Guess when she insists, because I was gonna leave this out, a pile of dirty stuff. <laughs> Yeah. Why are you carrying a pile of dirty clothes? Because we don't want to wash them by hand. That's why. So, we're going to take these with us and we'll wash them in the city. <laughs> <laughs> Where there's laundry machines and dryers and all that good stuff. Okay, and this is a setup. I'm carrying my backpack in the front and Mombi will be on my back. And... When we go outside and we start walking, I'll explain to you why we're doing this. All right. Anything you want to say to the people, Mom B? Say <laughs> hi. No, say, 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 say hi to the people. Say yeah. hi. Hi. <laughs> oh, course. you want to see? <laughs> <laughs> She's thinking they'll be on the side. <laughs> Still. What you doing? I'm gonna give me a chop. It Get on the matatus, the big buses. Come over here. Come over here and get you a nice haircut. How did how that how chop look, guys? How did that nice shave look? Turn to the side. What'd you get? What was the service you got, sir? I don't even know what to call it. All the above. <laughs> That's what I call it. All the above. You name it. Just like the pictures too. Okay, we just arrived. It took forever based on the time we wanted to go. But just to kind of show you, it was more like it was very easy to get a vehicle. But you could also maneuver with Uber. It's it's very seamless to move around around here. Granted, I feel like the Uber price was kind of on the cheaper side. I mean, so Dre was like willing to like tip him a nice amount yeah. he tipped him at least compared to what we've been paying back at home because over there i mean we paid them guys you know what what we paid this guy for for, for that shorter ride that we took yeah. at home mm -hmm. 
we we pay those guys more than we this but rivalry. I is. think the reason they charge more over there is because it's very rocky and the terrain is very rough. But I guess because we're so used still. to paying over there, we just wanted to be fair to this man, and he did a good job. Yeah, he yeah. got us here safely. We just glad we finally made it because it took us a while. Because this man wanted to be pampered. <laughs> <laughs> he he loves getting his hair done out here in Kenya. He it's loves cool. it. It's an experience that it seems like you can't get no other place but here. Really? That, I mean, out of all the travels, I cut in a few different countries, but it was never nothing like the way that they do here. So, so what do they do why. here for you that you? Feel? I mean, well, when you go in there, of course, you know, you get your break, your bait, your haircut. You know, you get your haircut, and after you get your haircut, you go to the other side of the barbershop. And they have a few young ladies over there that are like, give you a face scrub. They'll give you like a nice shampoo. they clean all the hair off of you and just everything. And yeah, I mean, like I said, I didn't get a haircut at all different places over, over the world. And nobody has been able to beat the haircuts here so far. So, yeah. How much is it anyway? I'm curious. Um, It's actually like, what? I think it's like 400 shillings. No, 300 shillings, something for like that. For everything. 300 shillings for all of it? Yeah. That's like a roughly yeah. around yeah. $3. Exactly. You cannot beat that. Wait. Yeah. Wait, what? Yeah. $3 for a haircut. It's like 300 massage, or 400. And you, yeah. a face scrub. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. He tips them too. Always, always. <laughs> I, never, I never leave without tipping. They know every time I go, I always... Here's your cut, here's your cut, and yeah. But yeah, I mean, it's just, can't beat it. Can't beat it. The service alone you can't beat. Because like I said, you know, the whole shampoo, then they get all the hair out your ears and give you a nice face scrub and all of that. Fantastic. <laughs> all right, so what's the plan for the day, sir? Right now, um, we're going to go ahead and find us something to eat and probably just... Explore around us. Yeah, it's kind of late already. Unfortunately, we had a little late start to our day. But we're going to go ahead and get a bite to eat and kind of just see what's around us for today until we figure something else out for tomorrow. Yeah. One thing I will say, I hear, I've heard a lot of people be like, oh my goodness, traveling in Kenya or Africa, but I'll speak specifically because we're here. How is it? Is it safe? And we really wanted to come actually stay in Nairobi near the town to kind of show you the other side you know because we don't mind where we staying now we love it but we also want to show you guys the other side this apartment condo is phenomenal so you can stay very comfortably and the views are phenomenal no okay this is how the apartment looks like this is the dining room this is the living room with a phenomenal view beautiful artwork the kitchen. I guess this is like the balcony laundry room. Oh, it did have a dryer. I believe so. Washer dryer. And I'm like, this is nice. The TV set. Even the walls are nice the way they have it. Um, one of the bathrooms. And the bedroom which you also have a view in. Closet. Oh. Closet space. Okay, I'm going quickly. Oh, the bathroom. What is this? I'm gonna come back to that. The other bedroom. Look at this, what is this? I've never seen this before. These buttons on the mirror. I don't know what that's for, but that's pretty cool. We just arrived and already this little girl went and broke a vase. Look at that. Look at that already. Shaking my head. That's the corporate right there. That's that was just the that. We're like one out of, out of three people. Yeah. We could be the first ones. I don't think so. Yeah. This, Air, this Airbnb is, at least the offer that they had was the first three people to rent out this place get a discount. So we're either one out of three, either 
yeah, one out of the three <laughs> people. So either we're the first, second, or the third. Mm -hmm. And already she's breaking things. This is any every anywhere we've ever traveled. This is the first yeah. time we've broken something. Yeah. Or Mumbi has broken something. Sure. Our luck, what? Seven, seven months in. Mm -hmm. The first time something's been broken by baby girl. Go watch her like a hawk. What do you gotta say for yourself, ma'am? Hmm? hmm? What do you gotta say for yourself? What? <laughs> you say as if what I do. <laughs> Anytime we move around, we always like to have some kind of snack. Because we usually get very hungry in between. But let's go. Because they still, I guess, building the place and doing some construction around it. But we legit just sat around right and just kind of just looked at this thing. And it was straight up. Maybe the walls are just like that, of course. I feel like I want to wait just to see it again. Wow. I've never seen it. We were like, I don't, I don't, I don't know how I feel about it. Yeah, we're on the 14th floor. We have a long way down. We got to go. I don't know about that one. I don't know. Oh, okay, it might be fine. Yeah, we see the stuff. Yeah, this is the first. It's the first what? Uh, first time getting into a wooden elevator. Nerve wracking. Trying to figure out where we're supposed to go to find somewhere to eat. This is the complex and our surrounding areas. I think we found it. Right here, it was just two minutes from our spot. Right, sir? Yes, ma'am. This is it right here. Come on, sir. Huh? Hmm? 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 It was nice enough whenever we arrived here. The main section where everybody's sitting, it was very, very noisy. So she came and pulled us to the side and said, come sit over here. It's not as loud for the baby. Which, I'm really loving that. You know what I'm saying? She can kind of run around and do her own little thing. Yeah, because the table's pretty big. It's like a, your own little space. Yeah. I just, the hospitality has been just phenomenal. Top tier. Mundi. Unanda. Plantain, ugali, which is cornmeal, managu, which I think is like colored something, <laughs> colored green, mustard green, something like that, right? And of course, the egg. I like how he cut it right in front of us. I didn't either. When we go out to eat, our biggest concern, of course, is is she gonna eat what we have in front of us? And very big, I can say I'm happy. Look at this girl. Take some ugali, get the managu. She's about to beat me up. I know. <laughs> she holy be to feed her. She loves it so much. It makes me so proud. Cause at first, cause at first we were really wondering like, is she gonna take it? You know? Cause I was like, maybe we need to buy like some uh, some chips or something for her. Cause that's normally what we get. But and Uji, we always travel with Uji. Yeah, but she doing just fine with that. She like it. Yeah. So pretty much. But she eats ugali back at home, man. She does. So, a little bit. Yeah. Get a little bit of that. Sit up, Mombi. Chica. <laughs> she loves it. Mm -hmm. I love it too. <laughs> what would you say about 
you say it is like a regular hot sauce or like a regular like a habanero type hot sauce so it's just really hot it's like a habanero because like it has no flavoring like it's just extreme heat it's just heat it's just like vinegar and just heat we took a bite early and we were like oh i'm gonna literally just put like a little bit You did like three drops. I did. I'm gonna eat it with some garlic. Let me see if that makes a difference. You gotta go too. You gotta try it too, man. Fine. <laughs> it's a lot. I'm like, mm -hmm. I don't wanna do that to myself. <laughs> what was saying? I ought to take this little cup and this little spoon for my meat, but I ain't gonna hurt him today. I'm gonna go and let him make it. We'll be back though. We'll be back, that's for sure. For what? The spoon? Both of them. This and this. Let me just dump that out, wash it up over there real quick. Let's come over with us, right? Look, you like that, don't you? You see that cute little bowl? Just for you. You see? What do you think about that spoon? It's nice, right? <laughs> so we just got done from eating at the restaurant and we decided to go walk to the store um to go and get a few things that we need but it's been a while oh. since we had a store close by where we stay in it so distance. we're like so happy about this one it's luxury to us it is luxury huh? <laughs> walk being able to walk to the grocery yeah. store is pure luxury to right. us because it's just our thing Grocery stores, grocery stores, and uh, yeah, parks. We love parks, too. And, and, and it's especially more like anytime we're somewhere different, yeah. we have to know where the mm -hmm. grocery store is. Have to grocery store in one of those pharmacies. <laughs> 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 She's holding on to that hair for their life. Look at her. Oh, Look at her. She let go. Look at her. Let me see. I can't believe she let go. We saw there was a rooftop. So we still explore. What time is it? Nine o'clock. It's nine o'clock at night. It's late. Somebody needs to go to sleep. But he said there's a rooftop. Let's see what it is. I don't know if this is the floor. It looks like the top. No, I'm going to work one more. This is the top one. Let's see what it is. Oh, elevators. I don't play with elevators. I'm going to go up. Oh. At least this one doesn't have wood. I know. <laughs> this one is fully done already. Oh, we made it to the rooftop. It's not ready yet. Still under construction. Oh, we got here early, early. <laughs> early. <laughs> Still under construction. Not ready yet. We got something down there, maybe. Is it like a pizza? We made it back. But we saw Grace had this first patch of grass of seed. You are you something else. But in the process we found the playground. And the gym. I love how kids just they see how they are comfortable. This is the kind of stuff we like to do. Just walk around get ourselves acclimated where we are and then when it's time to leave that's when we always get sad because we get fully acclimated to our surroundings okay up to the room to go we're back home i didn't want to bring it up just buying this and those two bottles was too much well we bought these two bottles yeah that's what i said those two bottles they're too much. It's very expensive over here in this grocery store. If we bought this back home, it would not be anywhere near what we paid for over here. Mm -hmm. Like, it's ridiculous. We, look, we went out to eat. 
and we went on ahead and bought a few snacks like we would normally have at home. And we already spent our weekly gro grocery budget. <laughs> I can't even talk. Weekly grocery budget in what? In two hours? <laughs> yeah. Pretty much. That we, we pretty much what we do is we buy our own groceries and we cook our own food. Mm -hmm. And we save so much money. Yeah, I cook the food. He <laughs> <laughs> no, we don't cook the food, but, uh, but we know I'm the sous chef. He's the real chef. Yeah, yeah. But no, I mean it's it just goes to show you like how like going to the grocery stores, finding a good grocery store, mm -hmm. and doing your own shopping and your own cooking cooking can really save you a lot. There's no problem going out and eating all that times, but you know it does make a difference. Yeah. You know what I mean? If you're trying to travel on a budget, you know, and you don't want to be spending too much, you know, because you're trying to keep a budget. It's always best to go find you, like I was saying, a good grocery store and do your own little cooking yourself. That way you can kind of cut that cost down a little bit. If you add on the broken, whatever that was that she broke, Vase. that's our weekly budget already. <laughs> yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and close you guys out right here. Um... Uh, if you're not subscribed to the channel, go ahead and subscribe to the channel down below. Like I said, once before, it's free. It doesn't cost you anything. You know, leave a comment down below. Um, what is your weekly budget for your house and your family? What do you guys spend a week for in, in a week for your groceries? But um, anyway, it's getting late here. So until next time, holla.